Yeah. I'll be there tomorrow. That's the 10th call today. You know, I'm just an ordinary college student, but last year, I got summoned to one, kill zombies. I didn't even know how. And now all of a sudden, my reputation went all over the school. And someone asked me to kill werewolves. I did that, Ben Helsing style. Incredible. And then, out of nowhere, vampires started invading DVC in the Contra Costa area. So, who did they call? Me. Now, I just got off the phone with a family who their little son, the 10 year old son, is being hunted and possessed by a demon. So we're looking at how to do an exorcism in 2018. This is something I have never done. This is something I never wish to have done, but I have to do it. Due to my previous cases, I gathered the name of Detective. Everybody been calling me Detective. I don't know why. I don't even solve crimes. I just go and show up and do what YouTube tells me. So tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's a big day. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm investigating this 10 year old boy who has been experiencing uh, paranormal activities. It's uh, his parents called me the other day and told me that the situation is getting much more serious where he feels that something, someone, some things are following him. So I'm about to go to the house to find out. I just had my coffee break, my donut break, and I still can't stop eating these donuts. But I need to figure out what's happening because they're not leaving me alone. This is the most unusual case I ever had. It's like something out of a movie. We just arrived to the spot. We're about to see what's going on. All right, let's find out what's going on. This is the strangest case I've ever taken. I really don't know what to expect. I brought holy water. In case you never know. They say this kid's eyes roll back and turn white and he has been on the ceiling, starts screaming at night. Let's see what's going on guys. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's the detective. Are you the detective? Yes. Follow me. Listen to me. You have to listen to me. I've heard about you, and you're not getting this body back. This boy's mine.
I have to pick colors today because what happened yesterday was a complete abomination. It's something that has never been seen, at least in my eyes. But the kid actually was on the ceiling, threw up all over the place, and with one hand pierced into the chest of his brother, took his heart out, and drew all over the walls. It was actually a red just like this. And so I promised the family that we would try to arrange things for their family to cover the funerals, to cover the, the funeral home, everything. We're even gonna try to paint their room a white because of all the blood that was spilled inside of the room. We are hoping that there'll be some type of relief, some type of hope for this family and just try to cover up everything that we can that happened on that day. It's some day that will live forever in infamy.